Okay, in this video, we are going to, uh, or I'll show you how to find a matrix that will diagonalize another matrix. Um, so just to remind you what that means, um, a matrix P that diagonalizes A would be a matrix that when I find P inverse A, P, then I end up getting some diagonal matrix. Um, and remember that a diagonal matrix is one that has every entry off of the main diagonal is a zero. Whether entries on the main diagonal are zero or not, um, you know, that, that's irrelevant. We just have to have zeros off of the main diagonal. And so let's see how to do this. The way that we would start this problem is that we would find the eigenvalues for this. Now, we've already found um, the eigenvalues for this particular uh, matrix. This was in the last section, um, but we do get eigenvalues of lambda equals uh, 2 and lambda equals 1. Those are the two eigenvalues um, that we have for that. We actually also found uh, the basis vectors for the eigenspaces for these. Uh, this was also in the last section. So, um, for lambda equals 2, um, the eigenspace basis uh, vectors are negative 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 0. Um, if we had, didn't already have all of this information, we would have to find it. Um, and this is just like problems uh, in section 5.1. So if you need to review um, how to do that, how to find those things, uh, look back in that section. Um, and then for lambda equals 1, um, our eigenspace basis vector, I guess there's only one of them, uh, is negative 2, 1, 1. All right. Um, now, we do know that the uh, dimensions of the matrix P that will diagonalize this um, are 3 by 3. They have to be the same dimensions um, as the matrix A as well. And um, we saw in our notes that uh, the way to form um, this matrix P that diagonalizes um, matrix A is to use these basis vectors, assuming we have the right number. So if you'll notice, we've got three, uh, three by one vectors, so that is exactly the right uh, number of vectors that we need. So the way to form P is to simply put these as the columns of P. Now, uh, you might ask, does it matter what order um, I put them in? No, it does not. Um, you can rearrange that however you want to. So if I wanted to just write them uh, in the order that I gave them, so negative 1, 0, 1 first, 0, 1, 0 second, and negative 2, 1, 1 third, that would be fine. Um, in fact, uh, if I rearrange these columns, all it will do is rearrange the numbers um, on the main diagonal of D. Um, it won't change the fact that it's still a diagonal matrix, it just rearranges the numbers. Um, and so let's go ahead and uh, verify this. Let's verify that this uh, does in fact work. And you'll notice that what I would need to do is I would need to find um, P inverse. So let's see, the determinant of this matrix is positive 1. So it's going to be 1 over 1, and then I'll do it the, the classic way um, uh, through minors. And so what I'll end up getting, let's see, I'll just fill in what it should be. Um, a 1 there, a 0 here, no, I'm sorry. A zero there, excuse me, a one here. I was forgetting to transpose the matrix as well. Um, I should get a two there, a one there, a one there also, a negative one, a zero, and a one. 
Um, now again, this scalar is one, so uh, that just leaves us with this as the inverse. So again, if I wanted to check and see if this works, I need to find P inverse AP. Um, I have all of those matrices now. Here's uh, P inverse. Um, A was the one that was given. And then P we found not too long ago. And um, I'll save the details for this to you, but if you were to multiply this out, um, you should get this matrix here. And you'll notice that that is, in fact, a diagonal matrix. Um, I have ones all below and all above the main diagonal. Um, so that is a diagonal matrix. Again, here's P. If I had switched column one and two when I formed P, then I would just switch um, these two entries. Of course, they're both twos, so um, that wouldn't really matter too much. Uh, but for example, if I had switched row, or co sorry, column two and three in P, then I would switch this one and this two. Again, it won't change the fact that I got a diagonal matrix, but it will change what diagonal matrix I got. Um, so hopefully that makes sense, and if you have any questions, please let me know.